Hello folks. Well, I like my refractor autofocuser so much I decided to buy one for my SET. And it's a Moonlight autofocuser and this is pretty much all that came in the box. This one piece here. And um, I saved a lot of money. I saved over $200 because I can reuse a lot of parts that came with my other focuser. The power adapter, the mini hand controller. So all I have to do is just buy the main focuser and I saved about 250 bucks. So that was pretty good. And uh, it, it looks like it's pretty easy to assemble. It came like this. And what I did is I unscrewed uh, one screw here, one there, and one there. And you can see the screws right here. And that's because I can embed my focal reducer inside the focuser. So I, it's unscrewed. So I'm going to, I can now take this part, take this apart. If I can do it with one hand, you know, I should put my camera on a tripod so I can do this better. So that's what it looks like. So I, I take that piece off. And now here's my focal reducer. I put my focal reducer, I screw it in like so. I'm doing this with one hand, that's how easy this actually is. Screw that in there, as much as it will go. Keep going. Okay, that looks like it. Put this back on here, like that. I'll screw that back on. And I'll be back in a moment to put this on my telescope. Okay, I've got the focuser screwed back together again. So let's try and thread it right onto my telescope. I'm gonna take this right there and I'll plop it onto my telescope. And, well, that was pretty easy. I'm just gonna screw it on. All right, I'll be back in a minute after I get this all threaded in. Okay, it's threaded onto my SCT, nice and firm. Now I'm just going to take off the 1.25 inch adapter here because I use a 2 inch focuser. Uh, let's get my ZWO camera with the 2 inch adapter already attached. I had that from before. Slide it in. Alright, I'm going to tighten this up. These three screws and I'll be back to test out this focuser. Where's the other ones? Oh, they're buried in there. Okay, I'll be back. Hey, so this is the mini controller that I already had with my other focuser. So, and the cable and the power adapter. So that's what uh, saved me some money, have just being able to reuse it. And here's how it looks. I'll set up <clears throat> my SCT, the focuser, my filter wheel and camera. And there, there's a few things that surprise me is, first of all, is how heavy the focuser is. I mean, this thing is heavy, it's solid, but man, I'm gonna have a lot of weight on the rear of my telescope. So I, I'm hoping I don't have uh, balance issues. Hopefully I can, I can uh, I'm gonna have enough weight up front to, to balance it well on my CGX mount. And the next thing is, my camera has never been this far back from the telescope, so I'm hoping I have enough back focus to reach all the way back to the camera. I, I, I bought the, the, the tall focuser that supports that focal reducer. Uh, I assume that they wouldn't be selling something if, if it had a problem with back focus, so, but uh, I'll feel better once I get this out and, and try it. And the next thing that surprised me is that this is my focus knob. I actually thought something was going to uh, attach onto the focus knob and turn it. But that doesn't seem to be the case. This is going to work like a refractor now. With Instead of using the focus knob, it's going to have a draw tube that goes up and down. So I, I, that surprised me. I, I had no idea I was going to be using a draw tube on this. So, okay, let's see if this works. Uh, I'm going to hit the buttons over here and let's see if it goes up and down. Let me see if I can uh, 
let's hit one of the buttons. Let's oh, let me adjust the speed here. Let's see, do you see the draw tube going higher? Trying to keep, yeah, I see it going higher. Yep, I see more space. Okay. Now let's bring it back down. Yep, it's going lower. I'll bring it all the way down. I'm hitting the in out buttons on the, the mini controller. Yep. Okay, that's enough. Now, I think my strategy to, to find the focus, to find the, the original, because you want to get this thing in focus close enough for the autofocus to work that first time. So I think I'm going to take the, the autofocus, oh, oh the, the draw tube, I'm going to adjust it so it goes out maybe an inch and a half or two inches, maybe in that range. Then I'm going to adjust this knob to find the, the, the focus. And then from there, that way, if I find focus with this, and I'm out at least an inch and a half with the draw tube, it, it should have enough up and down room to, to find the best focus. That I think that's a good strategy. But okay. And I'll post a link with all my Sequence Generator Pro settings from my other video. I'm going to start off with those settings and just adjust them as needed while I'm testing this out for the first time. Okay, thanks for listening. Hey, I am back. I just noticed something on my telescope. It has nothing to do with my focuser. But a couple of days ago, my garage door completely collapsed from the top. It just came crashing down. I thought it missed my telescope. And apparently not. Uh, these scratches don't bother me, but I just noticed this. I mean, it's it's there's it's dent. I can feel there's a dent in there. Uh oh, man! I just bought this new focuser, and I hope there's no internal damage to my telescope now. That's a bummer. I I thought it missed. I knew it was close. Rats. <laughs>